Today is the 28, right? So you have how many weeks more to go? One week. One week? You say one week. One week. It's more than one week. Two weeks. Pretty much. Two weeks. Yeah, pretty over, right? Negative one week. Yeah, but I'm talking about the actual PSLE. Oh, um, four weeks, uh. About three, no, five three, five. three to four weeks more to go, okay? So, uh, usually yeah, during the... Uh, now, usually okay. during the last few weeks, right, we do revision, meaning uh, before we do paper, we go through some information. So, as a refresh, whatever that... From now on. Yeah, right? <laughs> refresh, whatever that you should know. Right? Can that you pick up my map for us? Yeah, that's how much you're getting. Print out my map for you. Print out all my maps. Don't know how to draw my map. You don't know how to draw? Okay, okay. And that's how much you're getting. Huh? Yeah. 81. Okay, so the first thing that I want to go through, uh, of course, uh, all the stuff that we are going through here will appear in the multiple choice paper, right? So you can, you can also reference a bit, okay? For whatever we are going through here. Now, for the first one, of course, is energy. So, the first thing you need to understand is uh, what are the different types of energy. So, different types of energy you can see uh, coming from the blue color line, okay? You have potential, right? You have kinetic, sound, heat, electrical, uh, light energy. Let me just move it a little bit. Okay, we're now just looking at the different types of energy. Now, under potential energy, uh, which are the different types of potential energy? Do you know? Elastic, chemical, and chemical. gravitational. Yeah, right, as you can see here, right? elastic potential energy, chemical potential energy, and gravitational. Gravitational energy. Are they here? Okay, a bit else is, but never mind. But why, the question is uh, why are they known as uh, potential? Why don't you classify them as the rest of the types of energy? Because they got potential. Uh, what's the meaning of potential? Like potential. Um, why are they? Why is chemical like food, right? Food. Food. Okay. Why is it classified as chemical potential energy? How can you put energy? But a lot of energy, uh, right? Like wood also get. Wood also get energy, right? Rice also get. Right. Do I want to eat rice? Okay. So the uh the reason is because it you can you cannot really see it yet until they are either digested or burned. Right, then the energy will be released. Why would but gravitational potential energy ah, can be seen? Papers, ah. So, I what other things has got this chemical potential energy? So, it's called like uh, wood, right? Wood. Okay, wood has got this uh, chemical potential energy as well. Okay? Ah, can you send the tendon? Huh? Right, so these are the different types of energy. Okay. Now, uh, I don't think I need to go and explain all the different types, like what is heat, then the red color one, heat energy, uh, light energy, right, I think you understand that, sound energy, kinetic energy, so and so forth. Okay, electrical energy and the users, the users. Now, out of all these uh, different energy, there's, there's actually one very important uh, phrase that you need to know. One statement. I was. I think I. Actually, I, I did the, like. Energy cannot be converted or destroyed. Cannot be converted or destroyed. I mean, cannot be created. Ah, very good. Okay. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Then, if it's not created nor destroyed, what happens to it? It gets converted. Yeah, it's always converted from one form to another. Okay, it's always converted from one form to another. Right. So that is energy, and of course, uh, energy we have the renewable type. Which are the renewable type of energy? Water? Wait, no. yes. Water. Okay, Sun. renewable and non-renewable. Now this type are non-renewable, natural gas. Why? Why are they non-renewable? Natural gas. They take like you thousands can, of years. Yeah, you can, they get used up. Right, they get used up. Then why are these known as renewable? The sun, the wind, and this is hydro. Oh, they can be used again. They get used. See, I told you don't throw already, okay? Uh, they can they can use again in the sense that, for example, solar energy what happens? Yeah, you can convert the electricity. Now, when you use the solar panel, will you use up the sun? <laughs> Are you like using up the sun? Then another person cannot use. No, right? It's just that so it's renewable, right? Sources of energy. Okay, next. So there are actually about 
16 or 18, uh, 18 or this, I think we'll go through today, right? Because uh, eventually they are, the questions are inside here. Okay? Okay, next. Yeah. Let's take a look at this. Now, this is the xylem and the phloem. I don't think the arms are not Xylem and the phloem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the arms. Okay, 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 let's focus on the important things here, okay? Uh, <laughs> Not this one, okay? This, this, this over here. Okay. okay, so what's important over here is that uh, you need to know xylem transports. What does what xylem transport? Water. 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 And some minerals. Okay, from where? From the roots to the leaves. So the water is actually moving upwards. Water move upwards, right? Then how about the fluum? I know, it's the on purpose one, right? Now, fluum. <laughs> what does what does fluor transport? Water. No food, right? Food. So that's why they purposely spell it like this. See? I thought it's food. Yes, it's food, but they purposely spell like this so you can remember. Why? They're spelling very bad. No, fluor, food, fluor, food, right? Shouldn't even put it on the website, right? This is so. Yeah, yeah, which is so poor. I can't even spell the. Ah, yeah. Okay. So where does the food come from? So come from uh, photosynthesis in the leaf. Okay. Now the next question is uh, for fluum and the xylem. Which one is in the inside? Let's say you cut a cross section. Fluum outside. Yeah. Yeah. So what's in the inside? Inside xylem. Okay. Outside is the fluum. Then easy. Next one. Okay. Food. <laughs> Okay, next is the process of pollination. Okay, what is the process of pollination and why does pollination occur? First, you have the B, right? Okay, the bright colors and smell tell me that it's the sugary that I love, the pollen I feed to my teeth, right? So the B flies to the flower. Okay. My feet is pollen to the teeth. Huh? No, the sugar, the sugary nectar. Sugary nectar, right? So it flies to the flower. And then what happens next? Okay, so while eating, some of the pollen rubs off onto the uh, this bee. Okay, right? So this is called, now of course the bee will have to fly to another flower so how and deliver even, the. It doesn't land on the end of the flower, right? Huh? It, it lands on stigma. Right? No, it's like the whole the whole flower. It doesn't like land on one. Oh, it lands on the thing. whole thing. Yeah, yeah. The whole flower. Who said the whole flower? <laughs> <laughs> How is this not the whole flower? It's not big. Okay, you see the whole flower. Then yeah. Then it only covers like one section. <laughs> <laughs> no, there are a lot, right? Okay. Huh? Now depending on which type of flower, right? So this mind. particular one has got a lot, and then after that it flies to another one. Okay, taking the pollen with it, so the pollen grain will fertilize the egg cells to make seeds. Okay, grow into seeds when it flies to that one. So this is the process of uh, pollination. This is how this is how the insects help in the process of pollination. Okay, so I'm skipping um, topics here, jumping across. Okay, next one. That's very useful. Water. Kindergarten. What about water? No, vegetable. Vegetable, okay. But what, what, what does this experiment show? Uh, cabbage and water. 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 Cabbage, absorb, when it, absorb. cabbage when it's fresh, it turns red. Nah. Or when it's <laughs> avoid, it turns blue. You might as well say this is uh, kimchi from Korea. Yeah, this is a kimchi from Korea. <laughs> North Korea. No, okay. no, so this is called the absorption of water. No. Now, and then the blue color one is from the Antarctica. Cost, cost, cost now this is just to show you that water is taken in from the bottom, oh, right? And then it goes up, it goes up, right? Goes to the different parts of the leaves, right? It's being transported by the xylem, xylem tube. So the xylem transports water from the roots to all parts of the plant. Yes, that's right. Okay, next one. Larry the leaf. Yeah, I can ask you the right. Larry the leaf, right? My name is Larry the leaf. I think it's not like I drink lots of water. I baby comes outside and I was doing cold people's issues. I think that's 
Okay, so this is just photosynthesis, right? Photosynthesis only means... The leaf looks so creepy. I know, right? <laughs> okay, let me read the leaf. I take in sunlight uh, and water as well. Breathing carbon dioxide. And then after that, I make my own food called glucose, which is the sugar. So in the process of photosynthesis, uh, sugar or glucose is produced. Right? Now, a lot of students, they get mixed up, uh, like they're confused. What's the difference between starch, sugar, and glucose? Um, starch, sugar, glucose. Starch is the sugar that is stored and is not used. Ah, very good. So leaves... Isn't that really sugar? Yeah, leaves will make sugar <laughs> or glucose. Sugar and glucose are the same. Okay, sugar and glucose are the same. Oh, so when there's stop, too much... Okay, stop, uh, stop when there's, starch, there's a lot, right? It will be transported down to the rest of the plant. For example, the potato, right? So the extra sugar uh, or food is stored in the potato. So when it goes into the potato, it's not called sugar anymore. It's called starch. starch. Is it okay? So potato is a starch. Yeah, starch. Starchy food, right? Potato, to potato. Uh, yeah. Right? So they keep all the sugar over there. So that's what is known as. Okay, you see all this y'all should know, it's just that we do a bit of revision, right? Okay, next one, let me see what else. The seed disperser, okay, seed disperser. Yeah, right, now there are several ways in which seeds are being dispersed, right? Uh, we have animals, we, water, and of course we know this as explosive action. Explosive action. Now what are the characteristics, I know you can't read from there, but never mind. What are the characteristics of... Uh, plants or seeds they are dispersed via the explosive action. Oh, they, they dry up. They, they, split, they split when they are dry. They split. Okay, so usually they are dry. Must be dry, right? They split when they are dry. Very fat yes. because it's like all the seeds and everything. Very fat. Uh, Must it be fat? Yeah, hard and dry. It depends. Sometimes it's like that, no? So is it like hard and dry? Yeah, usually it's hard and dry. Because only when they are hard and dry, then they will be able to split up. Okay, can you give me an example of uh, seeds that are dispersed? Let me see. Well, <laughs> what else can you think of? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. What? Potato chips? No. <laughs> <laughs> rubber tree? Rubber? You know mango. Rubber tree? Mango. 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 So what is the characteristics of fruits that are dispersed by animals? Uh, seeds that are dispersed by animals. Uh, juicy, attractive, fleshy, sweet. Uh, seeds cannot be digested. digested. If the seeds are dry, it's not digestible. And then if the seeds can be seeds. digested, uh, then no, no point, and right? Yeah. Okay, example of fruits. Apples. Apple. Uh, what else? Mango. Mango. Uh, rubber. 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 Uh, Durian, Durian, Durian Rambutan, so many. What's one? What? This? You see, uh, so, so far just now, you have given me examples of food that animals eat. Now, there are some fruits that animals don't eat, but they are also being dispersed. So, can you borrow paper? Oh, man. Copy down there. Now, there are examples of uh, yeah. fruits or seeds which is being dispersed, but it's not eaten by an animal. So, how, how does the animal have to disperse them? The, how does the animal have to disperse them? If the spikes oh. hook onto the animal. Ah, yeah, very good. Okay, the hook. Okay, they have the hook like structures. Sorry, the hook like structures. Okay, okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look there, right? The hook's catch. I might have my tea, I got it. Yeah. Okay, you can pass behind if you need. Just, just leave it there. Right? Put the... Yeah, leave it there. You can't have any. You want to do that, right? Right, so who like structure? So you see, there are two different types uh, that's being dispersed by animal, right? Next. Okay, water. You're an expert, right? With the water. What are the characteristics of uh, fruits dispersed or seeds dispersed by water? The characteristic must have what? Got shell? No, got shell? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not got shell. No. It's like fibrous heart. Fibrous heart, very good. What else? They must be able to float. Yes, what else? Um. Water, what? Can't go inside. Waterproof. 
Okay, waterproof. Okay, it has to be like that. Right, example, coconut. What is this? Lotus. Lotus. Right, the lotus. Yeah, so, so the characteristic is only fibrous husk and waterproof. Fibrous husk, uh, waterproof, can float. Right, has got air pockets inside. Okay, next is uh, dispersed by wind. So if, if they are dispersed by wind, how light. should they look like? Uh, they should be very light, light, light like structure. this. Yeah, very good. Wing-like structure. Example of fruits with wing-like structure. Fruits uh, are yeah. fruits. Okay, I mean, don't Should I get fruit? No. Sorry, I have plant. Yeah, so, uh, sure, yeah. Okay, sure, yeah. So something. No, it doesn't look like anything. Maybe something like that, okay? Like insects. Okay, what else? What's this? What's this one? Yeah, you can see, right? The dandelion. This one is Jam. poppy, P-O-P-P-Y. Okay? They should call it Ted, Ted the Lion. Not Ted the Lion. Okay, next. Alright. Now next, uh, this is about the circulatory system. This one. Okay, the circulatory system. The circulatory system. Now, uh, you don't need to know every single thing here, okay? but I'm just going to show you that uh, ours is what we call the uh, two loop, dual loop. Dual not so loop. many names, are we supposed no, to know? No, 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 you're yeah, not supposed to know everything, right? But if you go to secondary school, then you will need to know. Uh -huh. Yeah, secondary school, you need to know every, every, every day. Superior of the name of this one. What's the name of this one? Superior of it. Probably. <laughs> I don't remember already, right? It's a long, long time. It's a part of it. Okay, so anyway. Yeah. Because a superior value. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Anyway, now what is important here is you must understand is that it's dual loops. Two loops, ah, uh, two loops. What's the meaning of two loops? So you can see that, uh, let's say you start from the heart, right? You will pump oxygen, oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. This is called rest of the body. Now, to the brain is also the rest of the body, yeah? This is the rest of the body. So it goes to the rest of the body and then uh, they use up the oxygen and you'll be transported back to the heart. So you can see this one loop, one loop like this. Okay, go back to the heart. And then after that the heart will pump one more time and you go to the lung. So this is the second loop. So where are the two loops? Here, one here, and then another one over here. The brain one is part of the rest of the order body. What about order? <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, when order? Order? When? It just sounds like someone saying after in the absence of water. Above the digest. Oh, this one. It's called our car. Water. Our car, right? Avatar. Our car. Okay? Right? Okay, so uh, you need to know it's two loops. Two loops. That's Why? Right. Why? Because uh, they will they like to compare with fish. Uh. Fish. Fish. Yeah, so, so the nose sticks in the oxygen. Yeah. They only they 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 compare with frog. Frog. Yeah, then, then, then they will just give us frog or fish. Frog, yeah. Fish is just one loop. Uh. Just look at the nose, right? It takes me to oxygen. Then yeah. it goes to the lungs, through the windpipe. Yeah. Then through the air sac, there is the air, the okay. blood vessel. That's a respiratory system. This is a circulatory system. But how do I do this? Link it to this. Also, the oxygen comes in here, comes into this, the lung. Yeah. And then so the, it will be... So the D of... Wait. So the oxygenator is here. Oxygenator is here. Okay, so... Um, so, so from the lungs, yeah. so from the lungs, it will be uh, the exchange takes place, right? And the uh, heart will pump the. Because the gaseous exchange takes takes place here. Takes place with what the heart? No, 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 in the lungs, in the lungs. Okay. Then the oxygenated blood will be pumped back to the heart. Then the heart will pump one more time and transfer to the rest of the body. Right now. Uh, this is just a simple view. Simple. Yeah. Simple. This is the complex Whoa. view. Whoa. This is basically a human's yeah. of fire and disintegrating in the ash. Who actually had the time to do this? What do you mean had the time to do this? This is like real human beings. Which 
Okay, your hand, right? All the veins and the uh, whatever. Blood vessels. Blood vessels. My fingers don't okay. forget. <laughs> okay, blood vessels. That's how the blood is delivered. So remember, remember we talk about, uh, remember there are questions that ask like, uh, how come when you are running, you need to, the heart will pump faster? Why? Yeah, why? How come when you're running? When you're running, oh, yeah. Because you need more, because the body needs more. Yeah, that's like a lane. Yeah, because the body, you see, all of these are. Attached, I mean, there are muscles attached to all these, the skeleton, and of course, they are close to all these vessels. So, when you're running, what happens is that your muscle will contract, expand, contract, expand. They use a lot of what? energy, they use a lot of oxygen, right? Food. So, the heart has to, the heart is somewhere inside here, has to pump faster, pump, pump, pump faster, so the blood can go to the rest of the body faster. To exchange. Then now does your heart attack or stroke happen? Oh, okay. okay, this is something else already, right? Heart attack or stroke, it has to do with the heart. It's already heart. connected with it. Doesn't it doesn't work. work. It's all blood. Yeah. Right? Now you see, the heart is a muscle by itself. Okay, the heart is a muscle by itself. So what if not enough blood go to the muscle? Oh, then die off. You see, <laughs> huh? Okay, so you see the leg, right? Have you experienced leg cramp? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Leg cramp. Yeah, leg cramp has. Or a hand cramp or whatever cramp, right? So, why do you experience those type of cramp? It's because it's because not enough blood. They are not delivering enough energy. Let's say if uh, this person has got cramp in this uh, hand here, this part. Yeah, that means not enough energy delivered to this part. Okay, then the muscle fail. Then die. No, it won't die. Only that muscular, that part of the muscle fail. Okay, but eventually... Yeah, right, eventually you'll die. will die. Okay, eventually we'll all die, right? But eventually the blood can still go through. Why? It's just it will relax. Don't use so much energy. Then the blood will still go through. But okay? then why if you continue using a lot of energy? Oh, that's right. Because if you need to do your exam, so, last five yeah. minutes, hand crack. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Never mind. I won't, I won't hand crack, right? So you see, now, where, 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 where do you see... Each? Where do you see the most uh, concentration of blood vessels? Heart. To the lungs. Can you see that? Why so much blood vessels here? Exchange blood. Gases. Okay, you're coming outside. Oxygen. Where else? See the head. Everywhere else. No, the head. It just looks, hey. like, hey. it just looks like some wires that are. Uh, <laughs> it's the head, right? Head. Why? A lot of blood needs to go up. The head. Okay? Okay, so uh, so now you see that the heart is very important. Why? Because it's not one, you know, you look at diagrams, there's always one tube, right? There's only one tube, go to the rest of the body, one tube, go to the heart, one tube, go to the lung. It's not like that, you know, it's like a network of uh, like spider web like that, okay? Spider web. Spider web is So it has to be pumped into all of this, every, into every single part. That was bloody. Okay? Right? So blood vessels in the body. Okay, next is the digest. Oh, wait, before this. Uh, this is actually a very simple experiment that you can do. Look at this. Yeah? Uh, what is he doing? He's taking a toothpick through blue tech. Yeah. And, and putting on his hand. Yeah. Now, oh, please take note, right? She's not sticking the blue tech through her arm. Okay? No. The blue tech is just. I mean, the, 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 the toothpaste is just stuck to the blue tank and then just put at the towel, right? Now, what's going to happen is that you will observe this thing moving. Right? Okay, this thing will move. Why? Because if you are still alive, right? If we are, I think we all are still alive, right? And you put it there. So you put it there, right? Your pulse, your heart is beating. As long as your heart is beating, your pulse, you will have a pulse. And then if you put this thing there, you move up, right? And then you can count. So how fast is your heart rate and stuff. Okay, now what's the purpose of counting the pulse rate? To see your life. Apart from that? To see your functioning. Ah, what do you mean by functioning well? Because yeah, athletes, athletes, right? Those people who run marathon and very fit, very fit, all right. The pulse rate is very low. Low. Pulse is very low. Like maybe in one minute, uh, it beats like forty times. That means the pulse rate. But then when it's very 
uh, if you have not paid, that means if you don't exercise every day, watch TV, watch YouTube news, oh, sit okay. on the couch, you can sit on chair, don't move, high, right? Uh, then the house will be very fast. That means it will very quickly. Okay? But then why if I exercise every single day? Uh, it will be slow. Then how am I supposed to like juggle, study, and exercise? <laughs> <laughs> no, I cannot feel my problem. <laughs> you cannot feel it. No. <laughs> okay, next is the digestive system, right? Okay, digestive system, uh, where does digestion start? Where does digestion start? You learn who is this? Mouth. Yeah, start from the mouth here. <coughs> okay, the mouth. And after that, uh, it goes down. Now, what's the name of this? this? Yeah, the gunner, right? After gunner, where does it go? Under the sea. Stomach. Don't do this. Stomach. Okay, after stomach. Small intestine, then. Blood, intestine, okay, then. Anus. Okay, rectum, and then anus. Right? Uh, no. Digestion stop at the small intestine, is it? What? Oh, yeah, where does digestion stop? In your, in your uh, anus. Yeah. <laughs> anus. <laughs> you will die. Okay. Now here's a more detailed oh look. What is this? What is Now you don't need to memorize everything now. Now, okay. Okay, but Supreme if you want to know the digestive system. This is a large intestine, rectum. Anus, yeah. right? The rectum is where the waste is stored, right? Where? Yeah, the waste is stored over there. Because, because there's a question in my, I think, essay one that yes. came out, then I asked this rectum, I put anus. Okay, anus is just like that, you know? Like, you, you, you know why? Because they actually never ever taught us uh, rectum. Oh, and then they actually forget to know. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 okay. I re rectum is a bag. Rectum is a bag. The back. So if a person has constipation, the back is very big. How big like is it? Huge. Uh, the biggest that we that I have ever seen like on e you see before. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen it, right? On the internet. Yeah, constipation. Yeah, you need to find No, on the internet is that uh, it's really huge. Uh. The person has like constipation for months. Uh. Yeah, how come is uh, how come you have constipation? Huh? What do you mean? Oh, what is the biggest? What is the average size for a person? The average size for a person. The one of the guys just started shit up. So he had to go for an operation, okay? To get out of shape. 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 Material, and then imagine this person just keeps carrying all this stuff everywhere. Then, then after the operation, <coughs> yeah. they really like slim down. La. Yeah, of course, slim down immediately, okay? Okay, now, my, my question is this, okay? Now, in the large intestine, this is the large intestine, is there any digestion? No. 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 But okay. what is the purpose of the large intestine? Nothing. Huh? Water from the ah, uh, absorb water. Reabsorb water. Now, why must we absorb water? Um, so, you don't need to drink water, just eat food. Yeah, correct. Okay, so you don't have to keep drinking water because the food and the water that you drink, right, when it goes down, it goes past the whole digestive system, no? and then it ends up at the large intestine. So imagine if the large intestine don't reabsorb back. Okay, it doesn't reabsorb back. Uh, you know what happened? What? You know what happened? No, no. Do you know what happened? What will happen if the large intestine don't reabsorb the water? Die. No, you don't die. Anyone? Just rise. Diarrhea. Yes, very good. Okay. Yes, right. You get diarrhea. Why? Because too much water goes here. Okay, so that's... Where will we get diarrhea? Okay, you get diarrhea outside. when... Uh, let's say, for example, you eat some, some uh, food. You eat some food that is uh, not clean. Okay, and then it ends up in the stomach. Right? The stomach will tell the brain, okay, uh, that there is... Uh, dirty toxic. stuff, in, uh, toxic material in the, in the stomach. Okay, and then the brain will tell the large, uh, the brain will tell the large intestine, okay, don't absorb water anymore. Okay, let the water pass through so the person will come out. So how do you cure diarrhea? What do you eat? 
Water. Things that don't make you have diarrhea. Like what? Food. Probiotic, what else? Food. Banana. Food. No. Banana. Uh, no, banana got more diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> why? 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 No, that, that, this is peel. What peel? No, don't you know? Banana peel. Orange. <laughs> Charcoal peel. Yee. Yee. No, no, Charcoal. No. Charcoal. No, no. If you go, no. if you have yeah. diarrhea. Yeah. If you, have diarrhea, no, no, no. if you have diarrhea, you go to see the doctor, right? The doctor will give you a black color pill. They say, ah, you got diarrhea in this, right? And that's cool. No, please, uh, don't, <laughs> don't go and bite charcoal. Uh. Don't go and say, ah, Mr. Ting said, eat charcoal. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. Okay, it's a pill. It's a pill. Charcoal <laughs> pill, right? Charcoal pill. So, like, if you go okay. to the Guardian So party, instead of, but, instead of going to the doctor, we still have money. Why don't we just cut off the hey, part of the charcoal and then we'll take the pill and eat it. Better than the tea, right? Hey, water. Okay, the pill that the doctor is going to give you is uh, is processed one, right? That means it's clean. It's so, processed. I thought so, processed food is very disgusting one. So when you eat the charcoal, now what does the charcoal do? What does the charcoal do? Absorb water. <laughs> Okay, the charcoal will come in, then absorb all the water, so no more diarrhea. Uh. And it's a shit of charcoal. Yeah, it's shit of charcoal. Okay, next one. So that's the digestion. Yeah, you should have very much charcoal. Okay, next. Okay, think about this. Solid looking, guys. Molecules and stuff. Yeah, no, I tell them. Uh, so solid, can solid be compressed? Can solid be compressed? Cannot. Why, why solid cannot be compressed? It has. There's no more space. A lot of 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 space. There are a lot of particles. There are a lot of particles in the solid. Okay? They are all closely packed together so we can, cannot be compressed anymore. Now, liquid shouldn't be like that actually, right? Liquid uh, also cannot be compressed. Okay? Liquid also cannot be compressed at primary school level. You must know but liquid cannot be compressed. Yeah, I know, I know. Just, 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 just say that. Yeah, solid can be compressed. Solid cannot be compressed. <laughs> it Why? Because it's stable. You cannot press the right? Yeah, liquid yeah. also cannot be compressed, right? Oh, but in oh. secondary school, when you go to secondary school, you, you learn can that compressed. liquid can be compressed a little bit. Because the yeah, you, know, uh, you put me in a strange you, you put me in a Yeah, little bit. Okay, but in primary school, they just say, cannot. Both cannot. Uh, correct, right? Right, with excavation mark. Like, cannot. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> this school cannot be compressed. Okay? Now, gases, sometimes gases can be compressed. Because oh, they're very little atoms. Uh, very far apart. apart, right? So you can press it, press it down. Okay? That's the idea. State of matter. Next. Okay, next, uh, magnets. Magnets. <coughs> okay, I think you all know this, right? The, uh, what's the only way to test that something is a magnet? Repel. Uh, repel. It must repel. Must repel that it's magnet. If, if it doesn't repel, but then, then, it, but then it attracts, there are only two possibilities. What are the two possibilities? It's a magnet. Uh, it's a magnet or it is a magnetic. Material, okay? Magnets and magnetic material, okay? Right? So only when it repels, uh, then it's a ma confirm a magnet, okay? Next, uh, take a look at this. Oops. Interest. What's this? Article from look. Okay, now what's this yellow stuff? This is butter. Sponge. Butter, butter. Food, uh, right? Butter. Oh, oh, I like butter. Pencil. So they put butter Ew, on this. Ew, it. Ew, Ew. spoon. So this is a, a, this is a metal, <laughs> this is a metal spoon. Uh, this is a wood, this is a pencil. Okay, wooden <laughs> pencil. Ew. Oh, this is a, a this is a plastic, plastic spoon, right? Plastic. And then they put all three into hot water. Put into hot water. Okay, so you see which one melts first? Nothing. This one is Why? Why? The bottom melts first. That's because I see that strong. Metal is a good conductor of heat. Now, wood and plastic are not good conductor of heat. Uh, why wood is not a good conductor of heat? Why? Because it it's a poor conductor of heat. I know, why? Like wood, this wood, paper. Why is paper? Or styrofoam, uh, poor conductor of heat. 
no it's got air spaces yes air spaces okay the idea is inside all this got a lot of air space so air is a poor conductor of heat conductor no, but the material, okay, metal, wood, and plastic, okay? So plastic is a poor conductor, why? Also, I have a lot of spaces, right? You, you, may not, you can't see, like, uh, I mean the plastic, you can't see, but inside, there's actually a lot of uh, space in between the particles. Okay, so the as long as they are... This one is clear. No, no, depending on which type of plastic, right? So as long as there are air spaces, it will become a poor... Yeah. Can't see. Yes, you cannot see. Like wood also cannot see, but inside, in between. So you set a coconut on fire, it won't burn. You set a coconut on fire, it will burn. You don't have to burn. Provided it's burn. dry. Okay? If you put it in water, then it will not burn. Next. Right, so this is an experiment. Uh, then, see again. This is the experiment that they did. Put into put hot water, right? Okay. Next. Okay, so uh, in this experiment, they put water in the balloon. Oh, I ah, that. And then they burn this thing, right? I Will it burst? No. Yeah. No. Oh. It will burst. How come? It will burst. It will burst. It will burst. It will burst. It burst. No. How was this? Why? Why? One more time. One more time. Because it has the water inside. Balloon with water inside. Water inside. Then you have a candle, and then you try to burn this thing, right? The balloon will not burst. Why? Water inside. Uh, what happened to the heat? The heat is absorbed by the water. Absorbed by the water. water. The heat is absorbed by the water. It's not expand, right? The heat absorbed by the water. So the the balloon skin, right, doesn't feel hot at all. Okay? Because the heat is absorbed by the water. Can water burn? Yeah. Water uses fire. Yeah, water extinguish fire, no? Doses. 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 Yeah, it's an English word, right? But extinguish, yeah. Extinguish. Q. Q. Q then. Okay, next. What is this? What is water cycle? Oh. Water cycle. See, very cute experiment. Rookie parenting. <laughs> cute experiment, right? Now, uh, why? This is a sea. Why is a tree in the water? <laughs> <laughs> so the, this is a sea, right? Uh, in this little experiment. You like blue pea. <laughs> no, what? In this experiment, if you seal up this thing and then you put it outside, what happens if you see droplets of water at the top? Yeah, why? Yeah, why? The zip lock back. Yeah, let's see if there's still a bit of water here. So the water actually evaporates. Okay, condense, become a uh, cloud, and then after that, uh, drop down again, and then it keeps going on. Drop to the underwater tree. Yeah, so this is like a water cycle. Okay, now down. how does the, what is required for the water cycle to work? Water. Heat. Water. Yes. Heat, la, right? Heat. You need heat. If there's no heat, uh, the whole cycle doesn't work. Okay? But if there's no water, the, the whole cycle Yes, then work. there's no water cycle anymore, right? Then maybe you learn some other cycles. Okay, next. Okay, what is the force? Okay, okay. Tell me one more. Yeah, I forgot one last one. What's the force? The force yeah, the thing is Star Wars. Pull can pull. Force is a pull can pull. Now, even if you go to secondary school, uh, you also learn this, right? And they also learn that force is a pull can pull. But we learn really one. Yeah, yeah so but there's more. Uh, each one of them will have formulas. They need to remember the formula and do calculation. Okay, what if you don't remember? The same thing in note to the exam. Yeah. Then you right. get uh, accused of cheating. Yes. Okay, so force, uh, push and pull. And there are three that you learn, right? Magnetic force, gravitational force, and frictional force. So what is the definition of each one of them? Let's see that. Is that okay. all? Elastic yeah. force. Uh, spring, uh, yeah. elastic, elastic, spring, spring elastic spring force. Right? So elastic spring force. Okay, so examples of push and pull. Right. Push someone leg. Push yeah, them. remote control. Push. Push the button. Okay, shopping cart pushing uh, this roller friend on the swing. Push a chair, move furniture, push a car, kick a ball. Kicking also, right? Push. Uh, what's pulling? <coughs> Open the drawer, wagon. Okay. 
Okay, refrigerator open the door. Pull up two legs. Tying two legs. Pull up, pull up. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, pull up. Monkey bars, buy a card. Okay, buy a card. Why? Pulling. The wind is also pulling it away, and then you are pulling it against the wind. It's not pushing. Why monkey bar? Not monkey bar. Just like a hole. You are pulling yourself. So you pulling don't fall down. Yeah, so you don't fall down, right? Uh, okay, so uh, here's an here's an experiment. How come the pencil doesn't fall? Oh, I think I know why. Yeah. Is it yeah. because of friction? Yes, it's because of friction. Right, so you have uh, some uh, rice in the bottle. Rice in the bottle. And then you stick the pencil inside. You can pick up the whole thing. Okay, the, uh, the, the, the whole thing, the bottle will not fall down. How come? Friction between the rice and the pencil. Yeah, there's friction between the surface of the pencil and the rice. Okay, friction, so the thing will not Pencil always on full, eh? If you poison the rice, then how? See, it's just a good action. So that's what we don't do it, I'll just show you again. We don't waste food. But then this okay? person got two one. Yeah, this is a waste. Waste, I never waste. This one waste. Okay, yeah, simple. And the last one. Uh, okay, that's all. Then we'll go through the rest. Okay, so. No break. So, uh, no, uh, no break. so we, what we're going to do is we're going to do an uh, uh, MCQ. And the, the start in the MCQ. Is it possible to get homework for MCQ? Yeah, then you got homework for <coughs> Have you done it before? Yes, you can close the rest. Okay, so now I'm going to try the button. Which paper is this? Singapore. Can you try that? You see the bottom paper already. Okay, so please start to do this right now. And we will try to go through today, okay? You get only 30 minutes. 30 minutes to do this. Yeah. Oh, Are we going through today? Yeah, I try to go through today. 